Turn me up, break the knob, right? I get dressed like it's prom night. I feed them lemons in a limelight. They say I'm full, lost my appetite. I'm from Dubuque. I'm 22, almost 23. I am a substitute teacher for the district. I have 21 chickens, a horse, three dogs, two cats, a fish, and a boyfriend. So right now I'm on a placement for third grade. It's maybe my favorite so far. I like second too. Kindergarten's kind of like herding kittens, so I don't really like that one as much. But it's fun. I like it all. So I joined CrossFit because I wanted to stop drinking as much. I was like just 21 and I wanted to get my life back on track. And I just started dating Dan. I was really scared to tell him about it at first. And then I told him and he's like, oh yeah, I think that's great. And so I joined and I loved it. But I like them equally. I think they're definitely different communities. I think the powerlifting community is like all about strength. Where like CrossFit is just like, how can you better yourself? Because there's so many different things in CrossFit. There's I mean, there's weightlifting, there's gymnastics, there's mobility, there's agility, there's running. I mean, there's just everything. Powerlifting, I feel like there's people who will help you basically on your lift or they're there to support you to get stronger. So I like them equally. I think my last one in January was my last meet. I was aiming for 400. I was really confident about it. My squats were really going good my last cycle. And then meet day, it was, I only cut like 10 pounds, I think. But my favorite meet, it was because I squatted 375 and I ended up being like nationally ranked. And it was like a really big deal for me. I was really excited. The rest of my lifts didn't really go like I wanted them to. I knew I could deadlift probably around 370 and I ended up with 358. And then my bench was only 159. I PR'd on everything, so it was good. Your first meet's always like your really favorite meet, but my last meet was probably, because I felt like I was almost at a competitive level to mm -hmm. some respects, but not really because... I mean, sort of, because the deadlifts at 165 are just crazy right now. I gotta give those girls a lot of credit. Strongman was actually really fun. I mean, once you train something for so long, like powerlifting and CrossFit, and you just try something different, and you feel like you're good at it, I feel like Strongman just came easy in some respect. I mean, my legs were already trained, my arms were already trained. Like it was the Strongman competition right after my second meet last July. And I was already peaked, so I was already ready to go. Allison Stoltz and Boston Jacobs were there and they were just ready to help me whenever I needed. So it was super awesome. And Kenny and Tim have already done Strongman. So Dan and I almost just jumped in just to do it for fun and we had a blast. Now training for it, it's kind of like trying to learn those new movements since I did just jump in at last minute. But I feel like stones are really hard still. I feel like they're intimidating. The presses are fun. Farmers carry. The yoke walks are fun. It's challenging to like make your body do something that you know it can do. It's just totally different. Like a 350 yoke walk is way different than a 375 pound squat. I really like the yoke walk in Strongman because I think it's awesome. When I did my 350 yoke walk last summer, I was really proud of myself. When you think of yourself carrying 350 pounds, it's like crazy. Powerlifting, I think I go back and forth between squat and deadlift. I like deadlift when I can peak it right. Like sometimes it's just like your back hurts all the time. And then squat, I like because it comes easy to me. And CrossFit, I really like complexes, like bear complexes, where you like clean it, squat it, press it, and then you back squat it and you press it again. I think those are and I just like the variety in CrossFit. I don't like cardio, but I like everything in CrossFit. Lift with someone that will guide you the right way. I think that women go into training thinking that they're either going to lose a bunch of weight right away or they're just gonna gain a bunch of muscle. And so my advice would be it's a process. You're not gonna build something overnight. I started lifting like three years ago and I like could squat 225 pounds for one and I couldn't even like hit depth. It's something that you need to work at every day. You definitely have to switch it up and you definitely should get into a program. And I don't wanna say that like join something right away, but I think that if you have the right mentality where you wanna learn the movements and learn how to move your body and get with the right group of people, I think you can definitely be guided the right way. I tell a lot of people that they should try CrossFit first if they want to get into lifting. I have a lot of women that come up to me and are like, oh, I really want to do what you do. And I'm like, well, you can't just walk up and pick up 350 one day. It just doesn't work like that. You have to, there's a lot of minor things that go in. I'm not a coach and I'll never be a coach, 
but I think that if you can get into like a gym that has some sort of lifting class or get a hold of people here at ENG and just try it for a day, I think that's definitely the right way to go. Some girls will just go out and try it on their own, don't know what they're doing. I think it's just, I think it could break something that could potentially be something awesome. Yeah, so I've actually been riding horses since I was like five years old. Had my horse I have right now since 2008 and he's just a rock star. We used to do barrel racing, pole bending, and plug racing. Did that for a lot of summers. It got difficult because he doesn't like to get in the trailer so it makes life really hard. I also took up planting this past couple of months. I'm trying to plant vegetables and flowers and other things in my bedroom. It's sort of working out. I'm sure that when the weather starts getting nicer and I'm playing them outside, they're all just gonna die. So I just gotta prepare myself for that. <laughs> uh, I like eating. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I love Cheetos, Cheez-Its, the flaky popcorn, 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 popcorn stuff. That's fun. I like, uh, I like anything. I'll, I'll just snack on anything but probably bacon i hate bacon oh, sorry kenny <laughs> <laughs> um yeah i don't know if i have any other hobbies i had chickens like four years ago it was like my second year living at my farmhouse and i was like oh i'm just gonna get a bunch of chickens and i'm gonna butcher them so i had like 27 chickens and 10 of them were meat eaters meat eaters that's not the right word. I'm learning the food chain right now. Okay, so we did worksheets on the food chain today, all right? <laughs> they're not. Okay, editing that one. Oh, shit. I got a handful of six chickens. They're fucking zombies. We got meat eaters. What? They're not meat eaters. They're not meat eaters. You fluff them up and then you kill them. Well, whatever they're called. I forgot what they're called. They're not meat eaters. <laughs> Ten of those, and then we butchered them, and then I, it's a process butchering chickens. I mean, it's awful. I mean, you have to like pluck their feathers out and wash them and tear their guts out. It's actually really nasty. And then I had 17 chickens after that, because 27 minus 10 is 17, and they all got their heads ripped off by like a raccoon or something overnight, and it was devastating. So I just didn't get chickens again for a while. Until this spring, Dan and I were just kind of talking, and I was like, oh, you want to get chickens? He was like, sure. And then he actually went to Farm and Fleet that night and bought a bunch of like books and magazines about chickens. And we just sat there that night and read about them, went on Pinterest and learned all we knew. So we figured if we were going to invest in it, we might as well know about it. I have 21 chickens right now. They are something else. Dan's finishing up building my coop right now. It's awesome. It's like you're going to have a door and a dog door and they're going to run in and out whenever they want. They're pretty sassy. And then hopefully once the chickens move out of the barn, then we'll get ducks. And that'll be fun. Hopefully, when the weather gets nice, we'll start horseback riding again. I'm hungry. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but I think that if you are interested in lifting, like I have a lot of people who come up to me and like want to lift, and I'm just conf not confident enough to be like, yeah, come lift with me sometime because a lot of time I don't know what I'm doing. Anybody will tell you that I don't know what I'm doing. So you should contact Kenny or Tim at or not given barbell. If you're brave enough to da message Dan, you can do that too. Or myself, you can come on over and lift. You should like this post and share my video. <laughs> That's all I got. First things first, I'm the realest. realest. Drop this and let the whole world feel it. Let them feel it. And I'm still in the murder business. I can hold you down. Like I'm giving lessons in physics. Right, right. right. You should want a bad bitch like this. Huh? Drop it low and pick it up just like this. Yeah. Cup of Ace, cup of Goose, cup of Chris. I heal something worth a heavy ticket.